Alright guys, this is a quick video on how I set up my OBD agent to be powered over my ENET cable. Um, uh, the main thing I wanted from this was to be able to plug in the OBD agent when I wanted to use it and then just kind of toss it in my glove box when I don't. So I kind of wanted a tight, compact package like just to set it up as a brick unit that I didn't need a bunch of wires going across the car. I didn't want to have extra USB wires going to the armrest or like cigarette lighters or anything like that. And this fit my needs. So I got a lot of feedback from the boot mode enthusiast group on Facebook and uh, Halim and I'm going to butcher his name, but Desinen, uh, they gave us a lot of information on how to set this up pretty easily. And I was able just to find all the parts on Amazon and do it myself. So thanks again to ProTuning Freaks for using kind of an open platform and being very upfront with how this can be set up so we can do exactly what we want. So uh, first things first, obviously you need your OBD agent. I built it myself and bought all the components thinking I was going to need hardwire something in there or solder something, modify something. And in the end I didn't. So I saved a couple bucks building it. But if you already have one or if you want to just buy one from Pro Tuning Freaks, um, that's definitely an option. And what you really need to do is build your ENET cable. And the first thing that you need is this OBD adapter. It's OBD to Ethernet plug and it's got four screws so it can kind of just be covered up like this but if you undo the screws you can open it up and see the wires inside this one on amazon is actually listed to work specifically for f-series so if you're looking for one for an f-series just literally look up obd to ethernet f-series and it'll come up um, so it's got the four actual wires that you need for signal and then i also had to tap into power and ground for the converter and that's what you see right here. This is the main thing that makes everything work. This is a 12 volt to 5 volt converter. It has a positive and ground input. And then the output is a 5 volt micro USB output. So it works perfectly for cell phones or in our purpose, like our Raspberry Pi device that gets powered over the micro USB. So again, I didn't need to solder anything inside the actual OBD agent. All I did is plug it in with this harness and it powers on. For the actual pins you will need to solder them. I tried finding a way where I could just posi tap one of these wires but none of them have power or ground so you need to do new solders to open pins. Um, power is through pin 16. It is not switched so just know if you leave it plugged in with the car off it will continue powering the device and then ground goes to pin four or five for ground and for anybody else that needs a reminder like me when you're looking at the OBD plug like this just remember pin one is on the top right and then it goes over to eight nine is on the bottom right over to 16 so down at the bottom left is 16 for power and then the easy way to find ground it's like these two extended pins that are a little longer than the rest those are your grounds Alright, so you solder that together, and then all I did in the cap was kind of dremel a slot for the wire to feed through. So when I close it, it kind of looks a little cleaner. And then you plug in your OBD, you get your Ethernet cable of whatever length you want. Again, I got a short one because I just want to be able to kind of put everything together in a tight brick so I don't want a bunch of extra cables. This cable is actually about two feet long, so you can get up to two feet of ethernet cable if you want to make it longer and tuck it away under your seat or something like that but plug in the ethernet plug in the usb and it powers on so i'll go ahead and put it together and show you how it plugs into the car and show everything working all right so this is what i came up with basically i just used some 3m tape to stick it all together again this was kind of my goal i just wanted like a tight brick that I could plug in when I wanted to use it and leave it in my glove box when I'm not. So the car is off right now. And I'll just plug it in. You can see the lights turn on. So everything's working. It's just powered over the OBD right now. Nothing crazy. And this is kind of how it looks in the footwell. There's actually plenty of space with the dead pedal, so 
um, when I'm actually driving, even with a six-speed, it's not too big of a deal. And that's how it works. So, basically, again, if you have it plugged into your car, you can leave it like this. You can run a cable down and tuck it underneath your seat. You can even remove this side panel and just run a cable around and tuck it in here. But basically, this option gives you a lot more versatility in how you can mount it. You can even mount it behind the dashboard if you wanted to and have it completely hidden. So that's why I went this route instead of trying to pull power from a USB plug somewhere. So if there are any questions, let me know. Um, I can definitely make more if people are interested. Again, I'm not a professional electrician or anything, but I'm definitely available to help if anybody wants to do this themselves. So let me know. Thanks.